Hello, ladies and gentlemen of Facebook or YouTube. Um, this is Adam with the highest return. I'm not a financial advisor, so everything you see here is for education purposes only. So I'd like to talk about semiconductors. Um, in the news recently, we've seen that a lot of companies are actually dealing with a semiconductor shortage. Now, um, I got asked on my Facebook group, how do I know which stocks are related with semiconductors? Like, what do I invest in? Well, um, the stocks that I hold right now for semiconductors, uh, the biggest one I have is ON Semi, um, and that is stock symbol ON. Um, and I was able to basically um, go back and figure out other types of semiconductor stocks using my Charles Schwab account uh, in the following method. I'm just going to go step by step and show you how you can do that yourself. So ON Semiconductor is definitely a semiconductor company. It's one of the semiconductor companies that provides chips to um, big companies uh, like automotive and some of the companies that are dealing with supply crunches. Um, so what I do is I go down and I basically scroll down and look at ETFs that hold this company. Typically you'll find ETF that's to, um, just related to semiconductors. So I see here uh, we have this Moto, we have um, you have these other ETFs here. Um, which one actually is related to semiconductors? Some of these about clean uh, energy. Ooh, this one looks promising. Uh, SPDR, S&P Semiconductor ETF. So I'm going to click on that. And then it's open knowledge on what this uh, fund actually holds, this ETF holds. So you can actually click on holdings here for using Charles Schwab. And you can go through and see all of the comp semiconductor companies that this uh, ETF holds along with their uh, their returns. So let me just move my video up here um, and you can take a look at different symbols, the performance in the past six months. Um, and you can also look at the market value and how much this fund holds of these. So you can see SunPower is the top holding of this company. Uh, followed by synapti uh, Synaptics, Monolithic Power Systems, Power Integrations. You also have Intel here. Um, and let's see, ON is down the line. They hold 2.99% uh, 2, 2 of their assets are in ON Semi. So this is really just a treasure trove of companies you can look into um, that are dealing with semiconductors. You can see Micron here, um, Skyworks, um, Qualcomm, diodes, uh, NVIDIA, AMD. So um, go ahead and try doing that yourself. The other way to find out uh, semiconductor companies is to just Google SPDR, S&P Semiconductor ETF, and you should be able to get to the holdings. So I'm just going to go ahead and Google that here in a new tab here. And if we do that, um, you can see that in Google. And you just click on this link here. Um, I'm going to accept their cookies They click on holdings and they also show their holdings here, um, their top holdings. And you should be able to look at all of their holdings. It should be, it should be in the, uh, one of these, uh, documents. Um, and actually if you just want to hold all of them, you could also buy this ETF. Um, that way you're sort of divvying your money across all of them and not having to worry about purchasing multiple shares. For me, I'm focusing on uh, ON Semi, Skyworks, uh, AMD, and those are the three semiconductor companies that I'm holding uh, during this crunch. Hope that helps. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.